Hello there people, this is Christian, welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60 and two cylinders with uh, one of their faces slightly angled. This is from a Reddit question, there was a question on how we can angle a face of a cylinder or slightly similar shapes. If we have some flat faces it can be more simple, but if we have a cylinder we need to do some more things sometimes. So let's have a look at this. Uh, these two cylinders are slightly different. This cylinder is uh, centered of a region point, so we have some planes running through this. This has no planes connected to it, so we're going to have a look at how this workflow becomes a bit different. Create a sketch. You're just going to make two cylinders, so we do two circles. I don't care about the dimensions now, these are just a demonstration. Going to hit E for extrude, select R2 profile, let's select 100 millimeters like that can hide the sketch so we have two cylinders we're going to turn on the region so we can have a little at step one the easy one we just want to rotate this face here so we're going to modify draft select the plane select a face you can see it's going to flip around because i have added dimensions earlier but you can see in here here uh, the plane is running uh, along the center axis of the cylinder that means this face is rotating around the center of the face so the problem is that the length of the part will change as we change the angle uh, that might not be desired so we can have a look at the slightly different ways also doing this so we can do let's do this uh, 30 degree for the fun of it so let's say we didn't want it to we want it to rotate along so it keeps the same length of the cylinder so and this is also needed if a cylinder is slightly off center so center of the region point if we try to do let's show you that draft select this plane uh face point no sorry not shell i want to do a draft select this plane select this face you can see it is not behaving the way we want it to. So we're going to go to console. So what we're going to do, we're going to construct, construct tangent plane, select the face of the body. I prefer to select the reference plane, one of the original planes, because now I can do one more fun thing. I can rotate around the draft plane in any direction I want. Let's say we want it at the bottom for now, so that's 180 degrees around. I'm going to do modify draft select our tangent plane select the face so you can see now it behaves in a more nice way it maintains the length let's do it minus 30 like that and the good thing about this tangent plane here is that we can edit the tangent plane we can rotate around let's say okay i want it here hit okay and our draft is also rotated with it so that's one possibility let's say i'm going to delete the two one here you for some reason want the same behavior we had on this draft where you draft through the center of the cylinder okay you want to do the same thing with this cylinder you need to do some more construction step one create a uh, axis through cylinder cone torus like that construct plane at the angle select the axis we can now, of course also rotate this hit okay now we can do modify draft select our newly created plane select the face as you can see it's now rotating like previous around the center we can move it something uh, let's do it like that okay and in this case of course we can edit the uh, uh, plane at angle let's see if we can move it around oh it's the wrong way direction now we can move it around so let's see we want it in that direction hit okay and the draft will rotate around so hope this can give you some ideas how you can use draft you don't need to we could also sketch the profile to side and do an extrude intersect or something like that but that can depend on how much more geometry you have around these uh, cylinder if it works or doesn't work hope this can be useful take care stay around and goodbye